Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 12th of 2023 well, it is titled Galaxy Cluster, a Bell 370 and beyond. So what do we see here? Well, as mentioned in the title, we are seeing a cluster of galaxies known as a Bell 370. And there are two giant elliptical galaxies toward the center. So we can see those two there, one a little bit to the upper right of center and one a little bit to the lower left of center. However, there are also many other galaxies scattered around here as well. And in fact, most things that you see in here are galaxies. The stars will have a distinct diffraction pattern going through them. And you can see a couple of those down towards the lower right hand side, another one up towards the upper left, and a couple more towards the bottom on the lower left side. But most everything you see there that does not have that spiky diffraction pattern going through it is actually a galaxy. Now some of them will not be part of this cluster and additional measurements would have to be made to be able to tell which galaxies are a part of the cluster and which aren't for most cases. However, there are some we can see directly that are not part of the cluster. And those are the ones that are greatly distorted. And you can see all of these arcs scattered around the image. Well, what are those? Those are actually very distant galaxies well beyond the galaxy cluster. So we can see a number of those arcs. You can see them all over the place here. What these are are the result of what is called gravitational lensing. And this occurs when gravity, the gravitational field of a cluster like this, acts like a lens and bends and distorts and brightens the galaxies. So galaxies that would otherwise be invisible that are well beyond this cluster are actually now are visible. And they're highly distorted as their light passes through the gravitational field. And again, that does brighten them. So it makes them brighter than they otherwise would be. But it also distorts and stretches them out much as a funhouse mirror can do here on Earth. Now this this is caused by one of the results of should say of general relativity. So Einstein predicted that gravity would be able to bend light and that was predicted over a 100 years ago now. Now what that means is that when some when light passes near a gravitational field, it follows a distorted path in space time. Essentially, the gravity of all these galaxies distorts the space and time around it. And then light follows the shortest path through those which will not necessarily be a straight line. It will be it could be a very curved path and that leads to all of these distortions that we see. Now the amount of distortion is one way that we can learn the mass of a cluster of galaxies. And what we often find is that there is far more mass than can be accounted for by the visible galaxies themselves. So if we can add up all the mass that we see from these galaxies and their associated gas clouds and their supermassive black holes, there is not enough mass there to be able to produce the distortions that we see. And that is one of the things that allows us to measure the amount of dark matter in the universe. So how much matter is needed, how much matter is not visible here, but must be present to account for the distortions that are seen. So it's one of the ways that we are able to model and study how dark matter is distributed within these clusters of galaxies. So that was our picture of the day for September 12th of 2023. It was titled Galaxy Cluster, a Bell 370 and beyond. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be partly hidden. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.